All right, so in this video, we'll be talking about emulation on the Steam Deck, and let's get into it. All right, so first off, we're not talking about Proton or anything like that. That is not emulation. Just want to clarify that. That is translation. And so we're talking mostly about downloading emulators and playing games that are not available on Steam. But I do want to mention that the first type of emulation that is available that most people don't really think about is the games you buy on Steam. So you can buy games on Steam that are emulated. Most of them are just, you know, ported directly to the PC, but there are emulated games. I believe the Genesis collection that's on Steam, that one is also uh, actually an emulation of the Genesis games. Whereas there is the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters, which I believe are not emulation and they're running directly on it. But when you're talking about emulation, you're trying to play older games. They do have options that you just buy and they just run and they're native to Steam. And they'll probably run a little bit better and don't have to be tuned with too much to get a really good output of the game. And so that is an option if you're willing to pay for it. Um, as I do have the Pixel remasters. I do have uh, the Final Fantasy original, Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9 uh, also downloaded on my Steam Deck. So those are emulation, the, the latter being 7, 8, and 9, the original ones. Those are emulation and, and emulating or, poten or potentially translating the games. So there's a differentiator there. You can buy games that are emulated on the Steam store directly, but I'm going to talk about the options you have for emulation that is not buying the game, but you're just playing emulators and having to find or download your own copies of the game. So you should own a physical copy of every game that you emulate. That is a legal basis that you just have to deal with and kind of gray area there. I own all the games that I try to emulate as just a personal preference of mine. And so I do have copies of all of those back there that I do own a physical copy of. So let's go ahead and uh, switch camera angles and put the Steam Deck up on the screen and uh, show you guys around what I have so far on the Steam Deck, as well as maybe talk about things I don't have downloaded right now. Let's get to it. All right, so first off, keyboard and mouse on the Steam Deck, not the greatest experience. I had to restart it to actually for it to fully recognize the keyboard and mouse. So it still isn't the best experience. It doesn't recognize the super key or the Windows key, whatever you want to call it. Uh, since we're not on Windows, it's a super key. But uh, it, it recognizes escape and most of the other keys. So that's interesting. It's just interesting that the menu doesn't pop up through the super key. Um, but let's go ahead. And so I did originally download, I don't think I have it still downloaded. Oh, I do, RetroArch. So I do have that downloaded. That is supplied through the Steam Store, so you can get RetroArch through that way. I don't think it's the best experience, though. It is kind of difficult to get running on the Steam Deck, at least, uh, directly from Steam as well as trying to get each emulator on there. It's not the best experience. I haven't played with it too much as I got very confused on how to navigate the file explorer and everything that is in there. That is a normal experience for me on the, on the Steam Deck right now. Any of these emulators that use a file explorer trying to go in and try to tap on the screen for those is not great. I do recommend keyboard and mouse if you're doing anything with emulation uh, outside of you know buying the games on Steam that are emulated. Outside of that, even the RetroArch that is in the Steam store is not very Steam Deck compliant or, or user friendly at all. And so I would not recommend using that. And I don't recommend trying to set up the emulation on the Steam Deck without a keyboard or mouse and going through that was a terrible experience for me. And so easy ease of use would be just use keyboard or mouse and then when you want and eventually get the games running, then you can use it in the handheld mode. I just don't recommend setting it up without using a keyboard or mouse. So my first thought was to use 
uh, retro deck. So I actually found this while in desktop mode. Um, and it seems to be a community driven uh, attempt at using the emulation station desktop edition, but making it more uh, Steam Deck uh, friendly. So let's go ahead and run this guy. And so it's supposed to be a better experience for the users it's switching to the game or to the to it right now so i did download a few of them and keyboard and mouse actually works i haven't played with keyboard and mouse yet on this uh so you got lots of options and so you do need to get a core for ps2 games and other consoles that need the uh the bios files but for the most part, the Nintendo ones just work out of the box, as I believe they don't use BIOS files. They may they just recreated it all. Let me know down in the comments if that's wrong. I'm sure that's technically wrong. Um, but let's go ahead and see if I can get one of these running. The sound on them. So let me turn that down. The sound on a lot of the emulation I haven't been able to figure out yet, but it's not the best experience, um, as you will be able to hear. So it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Let me know down in the comments if there's a fix or anything for that. It doesn't seem to work all the time, and so I haven't been able to get the games to work too well. I'm gonna go ahead and try to exit out. I gotta use the actual Steam Deck controls, it looks like. And so they have some work to do with using this as an, an, an actual emulation machine for an end user that is not as uh, up in the know around see it started working so it's not very user friendly right now as a person that doesn't actually mess with emulation that often um i i have no clue what i'm doing i am willing to uh, admit that that i don't know what i'm doing with emulation because I don't, I, before this, I didn't touch it at all. I usually run right off of the consoles and just play it that way, but not the best experience. I have found that the better experience is running the emulation software directly, but it's a little bit more of an issue with the Steam Deck because they're not really designed to be running on the Steam Deck, but on a Linux machine, which is a keyboard and mouse and not, and not the joysticks and stuff. So it does have a lot of uh, issues with that. So if you're wanting a just out of the box experience, again, I recommend just buying the games on Steam because that's easiest. But I do like uh, just playing around and trying to make these, these things work. I was able to get PS2 games working in both uh, the emulation station and on Retro Deck as they use the same thing. But I was able to actually use uh, the same files and everything. And for the most part, the actual sound seems to work better in certain things than others. The, uh, and just sometimes works better. Let me know down in the comments if you understand that. And maybe it's just a common thing with emulation. I'm not sure, but when I sometimes play, uh, like Legend of Zelda, the Link to the Past, it just works, sounds great no issues but then other times it doesn't so i'm not sure uh i don't want to go back without using the using the controller because again it's thinking i'm on the steam deck in handheld mode not on using a keyboard and mouse so there is issues there um i do have smackdown and raw which work or smackdown versus raw and, and another and here comes the pain i believe and those have seen to work, but they're not working now. See, that's the loveliness uh, of using emulation on here. Um, I think I got them to work outside of this in a different one. I don't have Chrono Cross working. So 
from my experience let me know down in the comments articles and stuff you guys recommend for emulation i haven't had the best experience as it's kind of hit and miss with 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 how it works wind wakers worked pretty well for me it has some stutters and stuff but not too bad the sound usually worked we'll see if it works this time Sounds like it's working. Not a lot of issues, but it stutters sometimes. Seems to be better plugged in right now um, than, than when it wasn't plugged in. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think uh, of emulation on the Steam Deck. I, I'm liking the tinkering around it with it. It's not my best experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the other camera angle. We'll go find our thoughts on emulation on the Steam Deck and go through a little bit of what I used and I'll leave that down in the description as well and uh, switch camera angles. For the most part, I am enjoying it. Um, I will leave everything down in the description, like I said, for what I actually used and what I went through to get it installed on, on the Steam Deck. Uh, one of them's in just the store when you go into desktop mode, which is nice. Uh, the other one with MU Deck and uh, the, the emulation station for uh, Steam Deck specifically is a download and you have to run a command i believe or just download it uh, but i'll leave that down in the description those are the simplest methods to get it just up and running uh, otherwise you have to do a lot more tinkering and it's trying to give you interfaces that are better for the steam deck which i'm hoping that uh retro deck and mu deck will also give just better experience for the uh, deck users as well as remembering that some people plug in keyboard or mouse because there is going to be a dock it doesn't have a dock currently but i added a little dongle to plug in all of this and capture it and everything so i do realize that's not the standard use for the steam deck but it's supposed to be a computer right um i am seeing that it's more of a console and then a computer afterwards right now let me know your thoughts on that but that's how i'm thinking of it because it's not designed for keyboard and mouse really at all right now it is early days of it so hopefully they will uh add in that feature to be able to uh, switch between the controller and the keyboard and mouse a little bit more smoothly so i can navigate on keyboard and mouse when it's docked and then use the keyboard and mouse when it's not but let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this video and what you guys think about the steam deck in general i've been doing some more videos i'm going to try to come up with more ideas to in integrate the steam deck and I'm probably going to switch back to some retro videos too. So try to put those uh, intermittent between Steam Deck videos as well. Just lots of stuff that I like. Just trying to get all of those onto the channel. So before we get out of here, like this video, if you liked it, dislike if you don't, hit the subscribe button and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos. I do plan on streaming soon. I'm going to try to ramp up to an actual stream schedule and upload schedule so that we have more consistency but i also have some trips going and other personal things that i'm uh i'm trying to work around to make sure that i can have better schedules here on youtube but also look down in the description for twitter merch a bunch of other links down there as well as uh amazon affiliate links and i'll probably leave the steam deck uh link down there if you guys do want to pre-order one it's not an affiliate link but I uh, just thought I'd leave that down there for ease of access to it. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.